For the longest time, I wanted to know if I could record my guitar into Reason and print the sound of the amp simulator I was using to audio. I know that you can do this in Pro Tools and other DAWs by sending your guitar signal to a bus and then setting that bus as the input of a new recording channel. I thought that surely, with all the routing possibilities within reason, there must be a way. I could never make it work though. Fortunately, after all these years, I finally found the answer. All I had to do was read the manual. So this is how you do it. Step one, start by creating an audio track and a mix channel. The mix channel is going to be where we house all the effects that we're going to record with. Step two, create the effects that you want to use and patch them in as insert effects into the mix channel. I'm going to use Kawasa's amplification Vermilion amp and the Audiomatic device on the tape setting. Step three, connect one of the audio ins of the Reason hardware interface to the input left of the mix channel device. This audio in one corresponds to the first input on your audio interface. If you're using the second input on your interface, connect from this slot and so on and so on. This routes the input signal directly to the mix channel device where we have our effects. Four, flip the rack around to the front and hit record source. This makes it so you can select this mix channel as an input source for recording. Step five, select the mix channel device as the input on your audio track in the sequencer. This will route the signal from the mix channel device's output directly to the input of the audio track. Now, when we hit record, we can hear that the signal being recorded is indeed the affected signal from the mix channel. If for any reason you don't want to hear this mix channel, you can just mute it in the mixer section. Now, why might we want to do this? Number one. Recording this way makes every take final. It will incentivize you to get the source sounding great before you hit record. Then, when you do record, all the character of the devices you are using are permanently embedded into your track, hopefully capturing any happy accidents or magic that they might happen to make. There is a certain freedom in limitation. If you're stuck with the sound of what you've recorded, you won't be tempted to waste valuable time endlessly searching for a better tone. And there you have it guys, how to record wet in Reason Studios. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.